Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League was a video game a lot of people were looking forward to play, especially when the first trailer came out, people were generally interested in the game, until Rocksteady showed gameplay and yeah, that's probably wasn't a good idea cause a lot of people were just not happy about it. It got so much backlash that Rocksteady delayed the game to 2024 and look where we're at now, 2024, the game released this month and oh boy did it got a lot of backlash. Not only that Rocksteady pissed off a lot of Batman fans for a terrible way to end Arkham Batman with a shot in the head by Harley Quinn, Kevin Conroy who voices Batman in the Arkham games and also the animated Batman series has passed away in 2022 which was one year ago. Imagine dying being one of the greatest superhero voice actors and being into a video game that is pretty much your last project then suddenly get screwed over by Rocksteady's poor decision. Yeah I got some pros you know that I did enjoy with the game so far I gotta say the actors it was great you know they they performed really well Tara Strong is a is a great actor as Harley Quinn Deadshot King Shark they all did great it was really nice actors I really enjoyed you know the dialogues and some parts were really funny some were just very edgy and then some were just mad annoying but they did a fantastic job the outfits are very fantastic I'm not gonna lie the classic outfits are great you know they got some unique outfits you can use and stuff it, it's just really nice you got King Shark looking like Superman then you got Captain Boomerang looking like the Flash and then you got Harley Quinn with her classic outfit and then some random Wonder Woman fangirl outfit and then you got Deadshot looking pretty you know classic himself you know he's got his classic outfit and then just a random like I guess bat suit. The character's transversal is great especially Captain Boomerang who has the best transversal out of all the characters because he can like literally harness the speed force with his boomerangs running fast and zoom in the air. Then you got King Shark going Incredible Hawk style jumping from building to building. Then you got Harley Quinn she has a grapple like Batman swinging around with the grapple attached to Batman's drone she stole. Deadshot using a rocket backpack blazing through the air with snipers. Yeah it's great and all but the game is still ass the controls is very nice i'm not gonna lie it feels really good you know quickly moving around especially using captain boomerang just jumping from building to build and using the speed force with the boomerang it's almost like the exaggerated swagger of a british teen now i'm not gonna lie i did kind of like the beginning the beginning of the game was very nice and somewhat pretty funny especially the part when the squad was in the arkham asylum roasting each other and talking to Amanda Waller about how they are going to be in a group called Task Force and they need to do important tasks or else they face the consequences of dying, etc. etc. Harley Quinn mentions, you know, that it's all great and all, and then just suddenly, why is there a damn shark here? And then they all turn around and look at King Shark. He just seems so disappointed and he wanted to, you know, go out his way to introduce himself. That was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. He wanted to do that for, uh, to introduce himself to the humans, you know. I I just find that hilarious but overall there's a lot of parts that were just so edgy in the game I just wanted to pull my hair out and just you know fall off a cliff I mean the game is still ass you know I don't care I'm just a messenger you know I'm just being blunt here you know the boss fights doesn't feel satisfying at all the deaths of Batman Superman the Flash and Jon Stewart and even Wonder Woman who got literally obliterated by uh Superman's laser eyes and turned into a complete dust like it's pretty it's pretty bad you know and I was generally upset with the story Rock said he could have done something completely different but instead they just went with suicide squad killing the greatest heroes in the world and batman who is literally capable of defeating the squad with no help from the other league regardless if harley quinn is part of it and very smart but there is no way she could not be able to take out the dark knight plus in god's name how can you fight bruce wayne who literally made an entire plan on how to kill the Justice League if they went ape shit. Not only that, but Superman who can literally rip the squad's hearts out just like how he did with the Joker. The Flash could kill someone just by grabbing them, snapping their bones with his speed. Did you get him? Or hell, even toss a broomstick at King Shark, killing him instantly. Yes, that is true. The Flash did kill King Shark with a broomstick just by tossing it from injustice. What a sad way to go for the fish. Jon Stewart, who is very powerful, could just literally blast the squad just by using his green light machine guns. And the st just the story just makes no sense. Like they could have done something different. And honestly, I was interested at first, but then I thought about it. That makes no sense. How could Suicide Squad kill the Justice 
honestly that's just that doesn't add up john gets killed by the squad then somehow king shark is surprisingly worthy enough to grab the lantern ring from the dead body of john stewart Can someone explain to me how King Shark is worthy enough to even use the damn ring? This whole story just doesn't add up. Batman going crazy killing people left and right. First off, Batman doesn't kill cops and civilians. Yes, it is true that Batman does, you know, somewhat kill people during, you know, the comic books and stuff. It's also true that he's under Brainiac's control. So that does make sense that Batman is killing people because of Brainiac. And second, the Batman boss fight just makes no sense, dude. Like the nightmare Batman? Why? A gigantic nightmare Batman, almost like like how we did with Jon Stewart's Green Lantern. Why? How come we can't just face Batman himself? Second, why in God's name are we facing the nightmare Batman in the Batcave? Rock said you could have just let us fight the Dark Knight head to head and make it challenging and exciting. But no, we just get this boss fight instead. The first half, I didn't even know what the hell to do since there was literally no tips and tricks popping on the screen. I was literally in my gaming chair with a straight face, slowly crying inside getting my ass handed to then also confused on to why they didn't just let us fight Batman himself but hell it sucks since we have to kill him even if we did at least give us a good tribute to the man that voiced him uh, that shoes on the other fat foot ain't it Ain't it bad? Gosh, he's really heavy. Then later on, Harley Quinn shoots Batman in the head, and that's how the Batman dies. But you always gotta end on your best joke. Wow, what a great way to end the Arkham Batman, right? Great job, Rocksteady, for pissing people off. And I just don't know, man. The whole story on how the game was created, like just everything, it just doesn't make sense. It like it almost like it shouldn't have happened. Honestly, Rocksteady, you just rushed the game way too fast, man. You made it so repetitive and boring to the point where the whole story just feels childish. Sad to say, I paid $100 to get the deluxe edition with 40 plus hours into the game. I wanted to make awesome walkthrough gameplay videos, but I just couldn't stand how the game was poorly made. Also, the edge jokes is quite annoying not gonna lie i'm just being blunt here whoever is working in rocksteady and decided to turn poison ivy into a child needs to be fired the weapons and the special moves are kind of lame man like the only character who has a cool special move was captain boomerang in my opinion it was cool to see him toss the boomerangs with the speed force going from enemy to enemy like a ping pong everyone else was kind of disappointing not gonna lie and the weapons feel the same like i was mostly like using the notorious weapons and legendary weapons and to me it feel like it was like no improvement when upgrading to get better guns since it almost feels like they do the same damage now that that's just my opinion all right that's just my opinion it's like no matter what if it's rare legendary notorious it'll just be the same to be honest after thinking that the guns feel the same i gotta admit the combat is very fun but it doesn't convince me that the game is awesome to play as much as i love the voice actors and some of the uh, voice lines but the voice lines like it, it almost feel like it was playing like over and over and over and over again it felt like i was in happy death day like with the constant edgy jokes from harley and boomerang like you guys know how people say jokes that are very funny one time but they might end up keep saying it so you just start to you know do one thing either like keep smiling and do a fake laugh or just have a straight face ready to smack the hell out of them I'm not saying it's the voice actor's fault, you know, no, 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 they, they did an awesome job. I'm just saying, you know, when you keep putting the same damn voice lines in a game constantly repeating it, 
I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. The graphics, man, the rock steady. The game looks like it was made in 2015. And guess what game was made in 2015? That was a DC game created by Rocksteady, Arkham Knight. <laughs> The story in Arkham Knight was so great, man. And this game was created in 2015. Like, think about that, 2015. Like, you can't make this shit up. It had like incredible graphics with beautiful reflections. Rain was on point. The shadows were great great character details and the world was just incredibly well done the story was so deep and overall enjoyable to play in the beginning of the game it felt like you were watching a movie this demonstration used just five ounces of my latest toxin tomorrow this will seem like child's play gotham this is your only warning. Do you guys remember how amazing Harley Quinn's ass looked in this game? Seems to me Rocksteady flattened her ass and killed the Justice League, which in my eyes I see that as a huge crime. The characters look amazing. Batman, Catwoman, Jim Gordon, Barbara Gordon, Nightwing, Robin, Jason Todd, Joker, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, Two-Face, Penguin, and even Scarecrow. And Scarecrow was the main antagonist and very terrifying and also there was other characters as well. But when you play Kill the Justice League for the first time, you're hyped, right? You're like, oh yeah, I got my PS5 ready to go. I got my PC with the new graphics card with the 4080 Ti, I'm hyped. Again, like you can't just make this up. Like I'm just being blunt here. I'm just being honest, the game is trash. Like I, I, I just, I'm being blunt here. Rocksteady, what in the hell were you thinking when you went from making the best Batman games to making a Suicide Squad game with Arkham Batman? It's technically a sequel to Arkham Knight, and the graphics looks like this? Like, were you guys like trying to copy the graphics from Batman Telltale series or like the goddamn Sunset Overdrive game? Like, this game just feels so rushed, and honestly, I'm very disappointed, especially as someone who loves DC Comics and knowing that this is Kevin Conroy's like last project being the batman in a dc game is just so disappointing on rocksteady's part people might hate me for this but rocksteady games literally created awesome batman games they could have added the combat from arkham knight to suicide squad kill the justice league i think a lot of people will love that i know i would especially playing as red hood or a harley quinn <laughs> And Harley Quinn, you can just knock enemies out using her mayhem ability, and it looks really awesome. Imagine what King Shark's combat and takedowns would have been like, alongside with Deadshot and Boomerang. Like Rocksteady, you could have done something that people would love to play for a long time, but unfortunately, you had to make a game that got so much hate, even IGN hated it. And usually you can't trust IGN reviews nowadays, but this one is very valid. It's crazy to say as a person who has ADHD, I couldn't stand playing this game that seems like Rocksteady took ideas from an 11 year old with poor attention spans that scrolls on TikTok for 15 hours. I have to say Rocksteady, you messed up big time. And I also have a problem with the fact that this game is a live server. Like they, they could have just at least, I don't know, maybe single player, but no, they just decided to go with live server. I think Rocksteady was generally trying to go for like like a injustice video game or like maybe like i don't know more combat because more combat is pretty known for like you know doing fatalities killing people left and right and then you got injustice that's also pretty fucking dark especially you know having the flash you know constantly dying and so there, i don't know what rocksteady was thinking yeah i think it's safe to say that i'm a toxic batman fan but only because suicide squad kill the justice league was a bad game even with the fun combat but that fun will go away very fast batman got shot superman got shot 
Flash and Green Lantern got shot, Wonder Woman turned to dust, like what the hell? The game kind of made me feel like I was playing Gotham Knights, and knowing how Gotham Knights was, it was it was a bad game, like very bad. But overall, I might just be nitpicking on the game, okay? But to be quite frank, I don't like how it's a live server. I also don't like how you have to literally kill the Justice League. That that just doesn't add up. Then you got the just ridiculous, edgy jokes that are just so cringe. The game is just very boring and repetitive, like super repetitive. Like Rocksteady decided, like, okay, so let's go with uh, let's go with like a Mortal Kombat type of game mixed with Marvel's Avengers. Oh yeah, let's add some type of aspect for uh, Gotham Knights as well. Like that that was literally Rocksteady's decision with this game. Then having to go the way to making a live server, like what what why? The Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is overall a stupid and boring ass game that doesn't deserve any attention whatsoever unless Rocksteady fixes it. I do have to say, I find it pretty fun to play as Harley Quinn. I've got her to level 30 and I'm already at level 20 with uh, Captain Boomerang and Deadshot and also King Shark as well. But I have to admit, I believe many people find Boomerang to be the most fun character to play as or maybe Harley Quinn. I've also heard the Joker is going to be a free character on the upcoming DLC, so hopefully Rocksteady makes the Joker fun to play as, but also hopefully they don't mess up the DLC. So to sum it all up, this is what I think. The gameplay is fun until the longer you play it, then it becomes very boring. The missions are very repetitive. The boss fights are as enjoyable. The Justice League members death was BS. The edgy jokes was embarrassing to hear. There was many jokes that were funny. I actually did have moments where I fell off my chair, not gonna lie, but a lot of dialogue, if the felt like it was like on repeat over and over again. To be honest, I'm starting to feel like a hypocrite talking about this game having edgy jokes. As a person who has very sadistic humor in a good way, if I think of three characters that makes up what my humor is like, Spider-Man mixed with Deadpool and the Joker. So in general, I have no reason to judge the edgy jokes in the game. Okay, deep down inside, I do find the jokes very funny. But anyways, the character models are very awesome, especially Captain Boomerang. I honestly love that guy. Like seriously, man, he is funny as hell. Character transversal is awesome. The camera work sucks. The weapons to me don't really feel different from each other. Pretty much to me it feels like no matter what weapon I'm using it doesn't have no effect. I love the characters especially Harley Quinn. The only characters I find myself enjoying a lot was Harley Quinn and Deadshot using snipers and shooting enemies while breakdancing. Brainiac's enemies are incredibly annoying to face. Sometimes I find myself wanting to break my controller having to face the big aliens and the ones with snipers teleporting every time you get near them. The world looks big and vibrant, but not as good as Arkham Knight open world. I'm not a fan of having to kill Batman without a tribute for Kevin Conroy. Also killing the entire Justice League in general, and I'm just very pissed off that the game is live server. Since you have too many microtransactions and if the popularity decreases a lot, then good chance the game won't continue with updates or any sort of fixes, so you probably end up spending so much money on it that you won't get back. Basically Suicide Squad is a cash grab and the story in this game is complete ass. I also want to know why the hell did Rocksteady add Hero from Big Hero 6? Uh, well howdy, my name's Hero. Are you the guys trying to save the world? Luckily, I actually found out before I was going to completely roast the little man. He is an actual character from the comics. Hiro Akamura, aka Toy Man, who is a teenage mechanical genius that randomly shows up at the Hall of Justice begging to be a part of the team. Honestly, I never heard of this character until now, so I'll just let this slide since I was definitely gonna roast his ass. I mean, just imagine how Suicide Squad Killer Justice League would have been like if they actually went with like how they did with Arkham Knight. With Arkham Knight, the fighting, the story and overall the environment was amazing. Like the way Rocksteady set up the game, it was just perfect for the Dark Knight. But yeah, it would have been nice if Rocksteady made Suicide Squad with features that the Arkham games had. Better to go that route instead of going with this route with edgy jokes that people will hate and then just being boring and also killing the Justice League. Look, I'm not trying to hate Rocksteady games, I really love the company and the Batman Arkham games, but I'm just pissed. I really wanted to like Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. I seriously thought it was gonna be an awesome game. I'm not trying to follow the train of hating the game because everyone else is. I love DC Comics, I love Batman and Suicide Squad, and so do many other people. But if I don't like a game, I'm going to talk about it. And Suicide Squad was a game that disappointed a lot of people, especially Batman fans. I'm ready to jump off the roof now.
now i would say i have other cons but i'm just gonna stop it there uh i'm just done talking about this game if there's anyone out there who enjoys this game then hey that's awesome man i'm glad you're having fun but for me i would not touch this game for a long time as soon as i complete the game 100 percent unless rocksteady comes up with a good damn plan to make the game better which is a very slim chance here's my cons here's my pros and my cons there you go now uh if you excuse me i'm just gonna go ahead and cry inside since i have no choice to to play it you know uh, i spent you know pretty much over 100 dollars plus emotes and skins uh my god man my impulsive side has really got the best out of me i could have used that to buy superman's tidy whities or maybe groceries from my local supermarket Bunch of giant space dildos ain't gonna stop us! What? <laughs>